The next two important compiler options which we are going to talk about is root dir and out dir. Now, when your project gets bigger and bigger, you might want to organize your files in that project. Typically, you would not want all your files lie around in your root project folder. Generally, you will see in many projects that you have a source folder where you keep all your application related code. And you will also have a dist folder which will store all the output files which you will publish to production server. Now, the root dir option it is used to tell TypeScript compiler which folder it should look for TypeScript files for compilation. And by default, it is set to root directory. In our project folder, currently all our TypeScript files, it is present inside the project folder in our root directory. So in this project, we might want to have a folder, let's say source folder. And in this source folder, we might want to keep our all TypeScript files. So let me go ahead and let me move these files in that source folder. Okay. So this source folder, it is going to keep all our application related code. And in the root folder, we will keep other files. Now what will happen is, let me go ahead and let me delete these JavaScript files. Okay. And now let's go ahead and let's compile this application. So for that, I will simply type TSC and I'll press enter. So the application has been compiled and now you will notice that the JavaScript files, the output files are also generated in the source folder. And all our TypeScript files are also available in the source folder. So what we can do is we can tell TypeScript compiler that it has to look for the TypeScript files inside this source folder. And it has to compile the TypeScript files from this source folder. So if we go to this tsconfig.json file, there, if I scroll up, you will see that we have an option called root dir. Let me uncomment this option. And here, currently, the root dir is set to root directory, the project folder. And by default also, its value will be project folder. But now we can say that the root directory should be source folder. So now we are telling TypeScript compiler to look for TypeScript files inside this source folder and not anywhere else so let's save the changes let's compile our application again so the compilation is successful now we have these errors because now the javascript file it is getting generated inside the source folder so if i open index.html there we will have to change the path so now it should be src slash app.js then in the same way here also the config.js is present inside the source folder. And here also, the auth.js, it is present inside the source folder. Okay, let's save the changes again. And now you will see that those errors are gone. All right. So using root dir, we simply tell TypeScript compiler to look for TypeScript files for compilation inside a given folder. In our example, it should look for the TypeScript files for compilation in the source folder. And now if we have any file outside of the source folder, any TypeScript file outside of the source folder. So here, let me go ahead and let me create a new TypeScript file, maybe demo.ts. Okay, here I'll simply write a console.log statement. And there, let's say demo file called. All right, let's save the changes and let's compile the application. So the compilation is successful. You will notice that the TypeScript file outside of the source folder is also compiled. Now, why is that? That's because, let's go to tsconfig.json and let's scroll down to include section. So, since we have com commented this include section, the TypeScript compiler is going to compile all the files in the root directory. So, here what we can do is, we can uncomment this and we can specify that it should only compile the files inside the source folder like this okay let's save the changes and let me go ahead and let me delete this demo.js okay let's also delete this app.js auth.js and config.js and let's recompile our application and now you will notice that only the typescript files which is present inside the source folder that has been compiled and for that the JavaScript files have been outputted. The file outside of the source folder, 
it is not compiled it was not included in the compilation process okay so using root dir we specify which folder the typescript compiler should look into for the typescript files for compilation all right now let's talk about out dirs so currently if you notice when we compile our application the javascript files are getting generated in the same folder where the typescript files are present now using the out dir option we can tell typescript compiler in which folder it should generate the output javascript files by default it gets generated in the same folder where the typescript files are present so let's go to vs code and here in this project folder i'm going to create a new folder i'll simply call it as dist and this dist folder should contain all our outputted javascript files so let me go ahead and let me delete these files first and here let's set the out dir so let's scroll down and somewhere we should also have the out dir all right here we have the out dir and let's set it to dist okay so from the current folder we are going into the dist folder and we want to set this dist folder as our output directory where all the outputted files should be generated with this let's save the changes and let's compile our application so the application is compiled and now if i expand this dist folder now the javascript files are getting outputted inside that dist folder okay so using this out dir we tell in which folder the outputted file should be generated all right now again we have this error because in the index.html we need to change from source to dist because now the javascript files are present in dist folder let's save the changes again and now the error should be gone now one more thing which i want to mention here is that whatever folder structure you will specify inside this source folder the same folder structure will be generated in the dist folder so let's say in the source folder you have another folder let's call it maybe config okay and let's move this config.ts inside that config folder okay so in the source folder you have this config folder where you have config.ts then in the source folder you also have app.ts and auth.ts now let's go ahead and let's delete these files again and let's again recompile our application and you will see that the same folder structure is retained in the dist folder also so the javascript files which has been generated so whichever is present directly in the source folder it has been generated directly in the dist folder and whichever is present in the subfolders for that the javascript file is generated in that subfolder so the names also is same here so this folder structure is also retained okay now again in the index.html the config file is present now inside dist folder in there we have config folder and in that we have config.js so let's save the changes again and now the error should be gone all right so i hope with these examples now you know what is the use of out dir this option and what is the use of root dir option this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it Thank you for listening and have a great day.